Hello, welcome to GRE Math Subject Test Video 7. Our goal is to provide avenues for approaching problems in the test that will significantly save you time on the test. Today's problem is directly from a GRE Math Subject Test Practice Test and it states the following. Suppose that f of 1 plus x is f of x for all real x and f is a polynomial. If f of 5 is 11, then f of 15 halves is which of the following? a, negative 11, b, 0, c, 11, d, 33 halves, or e, there's not enough information to determine a unique answer. Okay, so let's think about the information that's given in this problem. So we have this function f and we know it's a polynomial, and additionally, we're given that f of 1 plus x is f of x. Now, a natural thing to do here is start playing with examples of polynomials and writing down a generic polynomial and trying to figure something out. But remember, the goal here is to try to answer these questions quickly. So one thing you could do that would be of significant help is to think about the geometric information contained in this equality. If f of x is the polynomial given and we think of the graph of y equals f of x, or the graph of y of y equals f of 1 plus x b, it would be a shift of the graph of the polynomial y equals f of x by one unit in the negative direction. So what this is saying then is we have a polynomial whose graph is the same when you start as it is after you shift it in the negative direction by one. Can that actually happen? Think of a parabola. If you shift the parabola over to the left by one in the negative direction by one, what would happen? It would change. Same with a line, same with a cubic, same with pretty much any curve, except for a constant horizontal line. If you shift that in the negative direction one unit, it does not change. So what this means is that polynomial, the polynomial that is given to us must actually be constant. And so if f of 5 is 11, then f of 15 halves is 11 as well. So this is a great example of looking at the information we're given and trying to interpret it geometrically in order to get an answer very quickly. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please click the like button below. And if you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel.